it's Heather with New Release Wednesday. Um, it is for a big one tomorrow, the 18th of April. And I'll get to why in just a little bit if you don't already know. So we're gonna go backwards today. I'm gonna start with my third pick. Uh, my third pick this week is a uh, YA book, um, Young Readers, or uh, Young Adult. It's actually more of a young reader, so I'll even say it's a young reader's book. It's called This Is Taco. It is a hardcover and it is uh, adorable. It's about a squirrel named Taco and he likes tacos. It's by Andrew, I'm gonna say it wrong, Andrew um, Congle Conglose, Conglase, I'm gonna, okay. Andrew, I apologize. <laughs> it's by uh, Andrew C. and uh, uh, drawn by Josh Shipley. Um, it is from Lion Forge, and if you are not reading stuff from Lion Forge, read them. Um, y'all know me, y'all know I talk too much about inclusivity. Lion Forge, that's like their entire thing. They they love inclusivity and that's, and they love, they love kids' lines, they love, all that stuff so read lion forge read everything lion forge and this is taco i literally just read it it is a kid's book it is a quick read but if if you like tacos if you want to learn about squirrels because you do learn about squirrels it's it's the book for you trust me it's the book um, my second pick is black hammer age of doom number one it is a spin-off from black hammer uh, it is it is uh still done by jeff lemire and dean armstrong um, and it does pick up right where the first series began or ended uh, not where it began because then we'd still be going through the original series. Um, all of you know I am a huge Jeff Lemire fan. I will hand you everything that he's ever done. If you've never read A.D. After Death with him and Scott Snyder, you are missing out on everything. Um, Descender with him and uh, Dustin Nguyen, everything. Moon Knight, oh my god. I mean, if y'all have ever talked to me about any Marvel character, I don't care about like any of them other than Moon Knight and Medusa and his run on Moon Knight. Oh, crazy. Um, all right. Oh, and I didn't talk about any of his DC stuff because all of you already know that already. So, mm -hmm. um, All right. Anyway, getting back to Black Hammer. Uh, so Lucy is now the new Black Hammer, and she is about to get everyone. I just totally messed up my makeup. I'm sure of it. Um, but she is about to tell everyone on the farm why they are stuck there and how to get away. And then she's taken away. She goes somewhere else. And now she has to deal with this new place, this new world, and we get to see what happens. So uh, pick up, it's uh, Black Hammer Age of Doom number one. If you, are also, if you uh, are also a Scotty Young fan, which I know I am and you know you are. Uh, I hate Fairyland, baby, the, the baby X-Men everything. He does have a special cover for number one, so definitely pick it up. Um, all right, and the big one, the reason why 418 is going, 41818 is going to go down in history. Action Comics number 1000 is here! Woo! I really wasn't hiding it too well with the nice big shirt, was I? Um, so if you if you are not a Superman fan, if you are a Superman fan, if you just love comics, this is the one for you. Um, the classic character that created the superhero genre. Um, it was literally Superman that made it, that made comics. Well, Dick Tracy. Eh. <laughs> Prince Valley. Okay, now we're getting into points. All right, all right. Um, but anyway, it's if you wanted a superhero, this is who it is. And um, if... I, I could talk all day about this. I'm, I am not a superhero, a superhero. I'm not a superhero fan, even though I wear nothing but Batman shirts. I am not a Superman fan. Um, it's not because I don't uh, like the character. It's just he's kind of boring to me. But, but he is still the prolific, the iconic, the goal, the everything that, super, that, that a superhero should be. Um, and it's the reason that for 80 years, 8-0, people have been trying to copy him. Um, and that's what it is. In Action 1000, it's that big issue. Um, I read it a, a little bit ago. I'm sorry, guys. Um, but I, re I read it the other day and oh my God. Guys, I was in tears. Like, I am, I shit you not. Like, there were actual tears coming out of my face. Um, some of the stories are just beautiful. Um, there's this great, I, I'll let you read it. We'll talk about it later. Don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. um, but there's there are just some beautiful stories in there and definitely pick it up. It is $7.99, which is a little bit more than normal, but it is 80 pages. It is a juggernaut issue. It also has the first story from Brian, uh, the first part of the first story from Brian Michael Bendez, who you know we've all been waiting for, and it does not disappoint. Um, it might not be everything you want. No, I'm just kidding. It, just, it does not disappoint. Um, so if you if you are ready for it, if you are excited about it, definitely go to your local comic shop like Amazing Comics and Painted Visions. Um, it, yeah, yeah. They have... <laughs> 
they have nine main <laughs> nine main covers including a blank and then there are over 70 somewhere between 75 and 80 i believe um it covers all over the planet i am actually getting one sent to me from sydney australia it's nicholas what? scott what can i say um so if you are a big fan of superman or even if you're not definitely pick up action comics 1000 all right guys that's it for me y'all have a wonderful week Bye.